Hello YouTube, Jared here from Chewy Murphy Production, back with another Terraria figure review, and today we have the pirate, and he is a cool figure, but you will not see him in the game until you beat the pre-hard mode campaign, I guess you could call it. Um, he comes with his red beard, and not much articulation on the head, um, arms move, and something's weird on my pirate's waist. You can see his waist kind of like moves forward and back. Um, his jacket goes onto the back, which is not like anything we've ever seen before, like on the gold armor player. And his legs move, obviously, and his waist has very little articulation. He includes a lot of accessories, um, unlike other figures, which have like three weapons and one crafting station. We have a bit of a different um, inclusion for him. So we get his cutlass sword. And if you look at his hands, which kind of got scratched up a bit on both hands, um, you could put the sword in. Oh, come on, man, take the sword. All right, this pirate wants to give me a hard time. Come on, bro, take the sword. All right, he doesn't want the sword. Um, so you'll get to look at it over there. We also get a treasure map. And there's an X on there. And to hold it, you could put it like that. Um, let's see. Can we put it in both hands? Um, yeah, there you go. That actually looks really cool. I haven't tried that. Um, looks like he's tracking treasure. Then we also get a chest. And a cannon. And the cannon doesn't move, but it does provide a really nice effect of having, like, weaponry here. Now, like my other reviews, we put these accessories in our playset, which is really starting to fill up a bit. And we'll put the cannon here. The chest, we'll put behind the staircase. So you have to be... Oh, there goes the minecart. Okay. Thank you for rolling. Uh, the chest we'll put behind the stairs. Maybe you have to be a little... Smart to find it. And his cutlass we'll put there. And the map. Um, I'm going to take the map out of his hands. There you go. Put the tripod. And the map is going to go behind here. It's going to be a little hard to find. Um, so you have to be smart. It's behind the staircase. And our pirate. We put him here. Manning the cannon. And that pretty much concludes our review. Um, you can see we got the pirate and the witch doctor down here, you know, doing some crafting and doing some uh, watching. So if anybody comes to attack, he is $9.99. He is sold out at ToysRUs.com as of this video. I don't know if he's going to come back in stock, but you could probably find one online for 8 or $9. That's how much I paid for mine. And he is definitely a cool figure to add to your collection. Especially if you're doing like a collection of NPCs or non-playable characters, in case you didn't know that. And yeah, he's a pretty awesome figure. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you thought and stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Bye.